CJ, how you doing? Very well, thank you. Why don't you tell us a little bit uh, about uh, your experience here and, and kind of just uh, what's, what's been going on in your life. Okay. Um, my name is CJ Campbell and uh, I'm 24 years old and uh, I'm afflicted with a spastic form of cerebral palsy. Uh, I've been diagnosed since age one and uh, that affects me in many different ways, whether it be uh, through my fine motor or um, through chronic pain. I have, I have a lot of uh, spine and disc issues uh, as well as uh, muscle spasms. Um, uh, what it's been for me at my worst has, uh, has, has been I've been bedridden. Um, um, about three years ago or so, uh, I took a bad fall and I uh, landed on a bathtub which uh, took me out of commission for about four months and uh, during that time my body developed uh, some uh, bacterial infections that, that went down to my lymph nodes. Um, so in turn, uh, my body has been perpetually sick for the last five years and through you know uh, lots of different issues with uh, my diet and things, my body has kind of uh, shut down in a lot of ways where uh, it's been about uh, two years since I've got a good night's sleep. Um, I have increased amounts of uh, anxiety and even depression at times. Um, I'm finding that my, my adrenaline levels will go up and down sporadically. Um, but I've been coming to uh, get adjusted by uh, Dr. Hagmeyer for um, about a month and a half now and I can tell you that uh, just uh, being able to uh, come into his office and barely be able to walk onto the curb to then being able to walk better than I have in the last two years, uh, even to, to breathe uh, is, is such a gift, and I, and, and I use that word very intentionally. Um, I think when life is kind of stolen from you, you, you begin to understand that health is a, is a gift, it's just, it should be something that's protected and cherished. Uh, just as you would protect someone you care about, uh, I'm kind of learning that you need to you need to care for yourself to ever do anything great. Uh, and I think you kind of see that intentionally with the staff here, um, especially uh, Rachel who works at the front desk. She's one of my best friends, and she drives uh, two hours both ways to sometimes get me here. Um, and you can tell with the care that Dr. Hagmeyer does that. Uh, that he wants to see people at, at their best. Um, and so for me personally, uh, living with a disability and living in, in the ways that I function, it kind of sometimes seems that I live in a separate world. Uh, and part of the struggle that I deal with is trying to make uh, the world that I live in and the world that you live in uh, one. And so when I'm adjusted, it, it kind of opens that door a little bit where uh, where most of my energy isn't put towards just trying to make myself live and function, but when I'm not in pain, I, I can focus on being intentional, uh, being the best person I can be, whether that's you know traveling and speaking, or whether that's having a cup of coffee with my friend and being able to listen to their problems rather than worrying about my own pain. Uh, and so I get very excited about the life that's coming, and. Uh, uh, I'm just really thankful for the care I get here. So I hope to update you more on the great things ahead. Thanks very much, CJ. No problem. Appreciate